I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of waiting for the drama and the controversy that's been going around in the paranormal community to kind of calm down a little bit. I mean, hence the video we're doing today. Um, it's not gonna be dying down anytime soon. If anything, it's just gonna be going uphill from here. So I said, you know what? It is what it is. We're just gonna jump right in with the sharks and we'll just see what happens. If you're part of the paranormal community, then you might have heard of a couple called Cody and Satori. There has been a lot of talk whether what they do um, is true or false. There have been a lot of skeptics, a lot of debunkers, and a lot of people debunking the videos and the claims they are making. There has been a lot of footage, videos going out um, ever since they were featured with Sam and Colby in The Conjuring House. They claim to be able to speak to the spirits from the other side with their little method, cast method, where they hold each other's hands and repeat the alphabet. After Sam and Colby investigated the conjuring house with this couple, a lot of the skepticism in our community began. So yesterday, Project Fear sat down with Cody and Satori and they asked quite a few questions in this little interview. When I saw the title, when I saw the thumbnail, I was very skeptical because I wasn't too sure if even our answer or our questions were going to be answered, but I thought, hey, benefit of the doubt we can just go ahead and watch the video and see what happens um i'm not gonna lie i've seen the video at least like 10 times by now <sighs> the first time i saw it i couldn't even sit down fully to watch the whole video because it did make me feel quite upset quite disappointed but you know what let's just start the video because there is definitely a lot to unpack two weeks ago sam and colby's videos come out you guys get all this exposure hundreds of thousands of people following you now yes. and obviously with that you have people that are going to hate and they're hating and they're hating so like yeah. what does your dad think about a this newfound like kind of fame really yeah the spotlight and then b like what does he tell you or what's his advice when you do get these haters or these skeptical people like Okay, so first off, with, let's just clear up, the, clear up that statement. That is not true. A lot of us are not hating on them. We don't hate them. Th no, we're just skeptical because a lot of what they're claiming to do, it, it's false. It's not true. Why are they so adamant where they can't e they don't even want to disprove other people? They don't even want to disprove the claims that they can do this. Like, it's, it's just insane. We are not hating. This claim is not true. A lot of us don't hate them. We just don't like the fact that they are lying and they're scamming people. We are not hating. We are just very skeptical of this method, especially since it was disproven so many years ago. Honestly, like that's the importance, I think, of this video is like this all kind of happened in the last couple of weeks. All these people have these theories and stuff. So this is like it's good just to like let's let's talk about it. Yeah. One question is like the rules. Like mm -hmm. who makes the rules? That's a good question. I don't think we know. Okay. So the first night, the first night that we really figured this out when we established uh, communication, uh, they just came across with with all of this stuff. And, yes. Um, Sternly. Maybe it was somebody from the rule department that had to come and be like, all right, this is what, what you got to worry about. You make up the rules as you go along. The spirits are not contacting HR to follow protocol with this like method you're doing. Like you're just making up the rules and like no, no, it's it's just ridiculous. And then something else um, that crossed my mind when I was watching this video, because I have seen it like 10 times at this point, is when um, another minute in, I believe, is when they mention or Satori mentions and she takes credit for coming up with this method when that's not even true either. There is footage, and I believe they even show it at the end. There's actual footage of Cody being the one to discover this method like about 11 years ago. So why is K Satori lying saying that she made this method up and she discovered this method and then cody doesn't say anything to this prove nothing like why are they being so contradictive i asked about like the alphabet method like yeah first of all who started it can i take credit for the alphabet <laughs> yeah <laughs> me i was like hey can we spell out things and that's how we got the how is this how happening how is this possible and to be it was not you. It was Cody 11 years ago. To be quite honest, I totally stole the idea from a Ouija board. I was like, yeah. let's be a human Ouija board. You, know? you stole the idea from Cody because he did this 11 years ago. I don't know why he doesn't, Cody doesn't bring this up. Like, you can't just let her take credit for something you did 11 years ago. She didn't discover it. No, and see if we could, we could do it. And, uh, and when was that moment? That was the overnight when we, 11 years we first ago. figured out the, it was a couple months after we met 
and we were at an overnight case and that's where we had somebody come through and be like how is this possible and that's when we had the rule thing happen and all that um yeah i think satori won that one for sure <laughs> i guess we'll get right into some of the online questions slash okay. conspiracies so it's been weeks there's reddit pages there's tiktok pages there's people <laughs> saying so things you know? i don't want to look <laughs> I but you are looking. looking you guys haven't been like so you guys haven't uh, like looked we, at what some people are like speculating is going on we haven't ourselves looked at really anything unless it was brought to us by somebody we know okay. so we haven't been looking for it you claim you haven't been looking but you definitely seem to be well aware of everything that everyone is thinking in the community thinking saying like it's you're gonna see along the video you guys heard that like you guys want to talk about like let's put it in your right court. the biggest thing is the i think misunderstanding between one the financial things that's what you know and also some of how our method is similar to that of the fox, fox sisters, sisters. Right. during the spiritualist movement so tell us about what that is so the fox sisters were sisters <laughs> during the um, 19th century 1800s um, they had started the spiritualist movement that then in turn became the spiritualism you know religion the spiritualist religion it's claimed that they would have rather Tapping noises and knocking noises to direct communication. Um, they would get certain knocks for yes, certain raps for no, um, and then they became so well known and so famous that they were, you know, ultimately doing you know, seances, telling people their futures, having meetings with important people to help with like communicating with the other side. Um, but there are differences to our method to that of the Fox sisters. And I think the big thing that because the Fox sisters, one of the sisters later in life, like admitted, like it's it was just our, our joints yes. bumping and our wrists yeah. and our ankles. Yeah. So there's people out there who are saying, well, this is either Cody or Satori's, yeah. something in their body, their joints are popping. So yeah. like, what do you say to those people? Because that's one of the biggest theories right now. Yeah, so the unfortunate thing about film is you can't convey direction very well. Like when you're in the room in person, um, at least when Satori and I do this, you can hear footsteps coming in from different directions. Uh, we've had it coming on the walls before, uh, but in unfathomable in our minds that, that that could even be possible for the length of communication that we have and the, the, the sound um, level and everything else. It's just, when, just a crazy thought. When we first started coming out about this, we acknowledged the Fox sisters. We, you know, we acknowledged that history, that spiritualist religion and the spiritualist movement. Um, if you do your research on their method compared to our method, you will find a lot of differences. Um, there's if you do your research, they, you don't think they did their research before this in interrogation, <laughs> that is conversation with you guys, this like, <sighs> this interview like are you serious you can't just say oh no if you did your research i'm pretty damn sure they did why do you think they have all these questions written down and like ready because they know what to ask they know um what's behind the question there's a lot of conspiracy about you know them coming out about it being fake but also if you do your research you find that they were offered money to do that and they were financially struggling and then they recanted the statement so you wonder like was it actually fake um, also there's different things like you weren't allowed to see under their dresses supposedly from some skeptic claims like their feet under their dresses you weren't allowed to you know they answered questions about the future accepted money things like that if you do your research if it's it's just uh, it's just so rude that she said if you do your research like three four times like are you getting me like they definitely did their research you're the one not doing your research because clearly those claims of the fox sisters they lied they did it for money and fame like they one of the sisters later came out and said it wasn't true it was all fake it was all fake so for you to back them up and say no no what they did is true and like it was no no it wasn't it's that if, if that's what you're doing mm -hmm. it has to be your wrist or it has to be like your knee or your foot yeah that's the only possible like thing so like how do how do we go about disproving that one day to people like what's the step because how do we go like let's cross it off the list show everybody like it's not them like doing something we did actually we got really big out of our comfort zone to do this experimentation thing with sam and colby that we right. did um how did you get out of your comfort zone oh my god this is why i waited another day to not film because i was just so mad the first day i like the first time i saw this video but how did you get out of your comfort zone 
switching from shoes to slippers, some brand new slippers that they bought. Like, how is that getting out of your comfort zone? Like that to me, that's not getting out of your comfort zone at all. Like at the end of the day, the spirits don't care if you have shoes or not. So why not just take them off? And we we did what we were comfortable with and what the spirits were comfortable with because there are some things that we can and we can't do. <laughs> you guys only did stuff that you guys were comfortable with and then you guys try to make sure that the spirits were also comfortable. What is your shoes being on or off have anything to do with the spirits being comfortable like that does not matter to them uh, if anything i feel like they're more comfortable and they're more worried about the message being conveyed properly not if you have shoes on or not um but the big thing is that <laughs> i like to look at it like this for one um if we were to give no way for people to have any sort of skepticism and they're not meant to believe in this yet or they're not meant to have these experiences or they won't take it well do you imagine all of us right now that do not believe your claims and then let's just say you you proved your claims you know what you know how many people would turn and be like oh shit like she's being honest like you would have so many people and such a good audience behind you but everyone just doesn't believe you and the fact that you keep trying to make it seem like you don't have to prove anything or people are meant to know like no a lot of us do believe in the paranormal do believe in these things and we would love to have like actual proof chaos you know like that's something i'm afraid of for one um also i feel like we did really prove it in any way we could that was within our comfort zone um, no you didn't i'm sam and colby um you know we're not obviously popping our joints or anything you can see you know my arms in the videos and and cody again i like to make this joke if cody popped a joint it wouldn't be going back in because he has really bad bones and joints from cancer i kind of stepped out of my comfort zone completely by you know um, going on uh, videos and things like that um so um i don't know it's 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 interesting seeing people's different you know opinions on it believe it or don't we're still gonna be waking up tomorrow and doing the same thing <laughs> this this comment that she made just like it just pissed me off and rubbed me the wrong way you just lose my respect when you're scamming people and you're lying to innocent people like it is not okay especially knowing who your father is he would not be proud of that if this were to be proven that you are lying to everybody then you went on this little conversation interview whatever you want to call it and continued the lie instead of just coming clean. I feel like if they had come onto this conversation interview and then disproved it, just did what all of us are thinking. We all just want her or both of them to do a session wherever they want to do it, whether it's um, where they're comfortable with, they can choose the time, the place, the location, everything. All that people are asking is just shoes off. You could even have one of those, like, what are they, the freaking toe socks or whatever, just so we can see that he is not the one popping his joints during the session to make it seem like it's knocking. That's all we're asking. Okay, so what you guys do is obviously, like, altruistic. It's good. Yes. You believe it's fully, like, created for good. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's also, like, this element that you guys were talking about, or at least you were talking about, Satori, that, like, you don't want people to, like, have the ability to disprove every single mm -hmm. thing don't you think though like if people could just disprove everything like all that whole list if we had a list of things and you could just check them all off and people were like yes i don't think people would there isn't even i i love chelsea in this interview i feel like she is trying to really ask those hard-hitting questions like she doesn't let them just like go around like no she doesn't like let them beat around the bush like that's the question like why not just disprove all the skeptics, all the haters. Why not just do it? We're only asking for what one thing. It's not a checklist that you have to follow. It's not a bunch of things that you have to do. It's literally just one thing. That's it. Where you're comfortable in, you're, you can choose the location, the time, the date, everything. But you know, there's only one thing that we ask. I mean, there's some individuals out there that no matter what you show them, uh, they're still not going. I to. could have a spirit sit we right We could do here this for days. And we have. Would. We have. We've, we've done it. We've done it. We've been there and done it. And, um, you know, we, we've definitely learned that there's some people that you just can't change their mind. And there are I mean, I will agree on that point where, yes, there might be some where even when you show the evidence, all that, they're still not going to believe. They're still going to think, no, you're lying. Agreeable. 
but a lot of us aren't like that where a lot of us are not a lot some of us are skeptics some aren't but i think in reality all of us would love to be proven wrong would love for you guys to prove us wrong are some people and the reason we say what we say is because there are some people that we have done this for and we've gone out of our way to try to prove ourselves to in a private setting and it's done more harm than good for them like mentally you know like they weren't ready for it religiously they weren't ready for it like you know like they they literally had a negative effect from what we did sam and colby had a lot of unique stuff come through and then we did too like we had stuff that blew our minds that mm -hmm. came through yeah um but then they haven't done it for us yet, but they did. Someone did put together like a video where they mm -hmm. like found the information that you guys are saying. Like they found his grandmother, they found the mm -hmm. obituaries, and all this stuff. And then when we, after our even experience, and we saw that, I actually could find some of the stuff, like the cigar stuff, and then everything to do with our grandpa. I could find whether it was on the internet or like my mom's yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to the people that think that you're fi researching this, memorizing it, and then? I just want to say I really respect that they were honest here. They didn't ha even have to mention that, that they went after filming, um, tried to look it up themselves. Can they, is this something that people can search up on the internet, um, their family, social media, things like that. So I really do respect that they at least, you know, commented and were honest about that. Making it happen. So there's a couple points on that. For one, I wonder if, and this is just like just come to my head, they're obviously doing the research after watching the video. So they already have, you know, I know I believe Sam's grandmother's nick, the nickname, it was a nickname we came up with, I believe. So did they search that nickname and then Sam's, I know. you know, like. No, people searched up the, her name. They searched up her name and then the records pulled up and then the nickname was found there. Her full name, nick, no nickname included, so no. Yeah. Would you have found that if you just searched up Sam's grandmother? You know, say it full name, then grandmother? Without having like, the name you, of the, Without having that nickname already the from the video? Like, I wonder if like you would have found it as easily, um, but then totally, it's totally okay to believe that we're, you know, if you want to believe we're researching things. I also wonder how would we remember that, do it without anybody ever seeing it, and then accurately one of you would have out. to have a, what's it called? Photographic. 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 That's literally right? the only way. I can barely spell my own name. So we can disprove me right there, right there. See, but correct me if I'm wrong, but when they're doing these like paranormal sessions, they're spelling out whole sentences as they're going out through the alphabet. They have to remember what word they said last. So to me, it's you definitely do have a good memory because if I didn't have the captions, I wouldn't remember anything they had just said. But as they're going through the alphabet, they have to remember what they said and then piece it together and then remember each letter to put together the sentence so to me that's that's a lie so there's a video going around from 11 years ago it's on tiktok yes. and it's a video of you cody doing an investigation must have been for like one of the random teams you worked yeah. for and first team oh attleboro right yep. how can you smile and nod knowing just 10 minutes ago, you were saying that Satori, you agreed with Satori that she came up with this method. No, you did 11 years ago. Like, how how can you just smile and nod? Like, no. I think, yeah. yeah, like the start of the video, there's a guy in there and he says something like, Cody, do the ABC thing you were doing. Yeah. And then you start counting the ABCs and you guys eventually end up spelling the name Bill. And then it says like, yes, it's Bill. Oh, his name like we did in the past okay. with the alphabet. All right. So I'm going to ask you... Uh... Try figuring out your name here. Uh, I'm going to go through the alphabet, and when I get to the first letter of your name, I want you to give me a knock. A. B. First letter is B. I. So is it one for yes, two for no. Is it B, I? Is it Bill? Is your name Bill? That was the floor. That wasn't the floor. So his name is Bill. So there's people out there, like the big theory, yeah. other than the sisters, is like, Cody's been doing this well before he met Satori. <laughs> Mastermind. Yeah. I mean, what is this, is it like the clicking? Well, clearly you are, because you've been doing it. You did this 11 years ago without Satori. So how can you just 
No, no. It's definitely not as intense as what we experienced. Yeah. Mm. But it is weird for people. But before I even say my opinion, like, what, yeah. what do you guys have to say to that? So it's weird. So when things are happening like that, I mean, back then, that was my first group. And when stuff happens like that, you don't think that, you know, you're part of that. It's just an experience that's happening, right? And there's been times where we've had uh, some interactions with uh, banging sounds and things like that. And, um, you know, whether. I'm a part of that happening, you know, with energy, energy wise. Because that is one of those theories where you're like, okay, yeah. like, he is doing the ABCs, he is getting knocked. So it's definitely, that was the one that's like, okay, I mean, I see why people are being yeah. somewhat skeptical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then you also wonder, like, you know, was it, was it the start of something that's now here? Because, I mean, when I was younger, I used to see things all the time. And See, like, it's just, you're contradicting yourself. How can you say, oh, it was the start of something now? Like, you, no, no, like, Cody was the one that that discovered this method 11 years ago. The footage is there. I like how they kind of dance around it. They don't even mention, like, oh, yeah, he discovered it. He did it, like, 11 years ago. No, like, he just dances around the idea, but he doesn't really mention anything about even it. still now, sometimes when we do this, I'll sometimes see things. And maybe that was just an unknown start to what's become... I think the thing that's throwing channel. people up is the ABC thing, because they're like, yeah. what? I thought he said he never did that, and, like, whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. On top of that video of the of the whatever the the old video of knocking there's like a couple of videos out there people like filming their feet and like doing something in their shoe and it's making like a tapping noise so if you listen carefully That's insane. You can control the loudness. It's the same people who think the Fox sisters. Oh, joint know, popping you know. stuff? So there's yeah. like, there's one okay. video of a guy like doing something. I don't know what he's doing inside a shoe with his toes, but he's, it is like popping. It's making a weird noise. Mm -hmm. So like, would you guys be willing to do the session with your shoes off and your, your socks off just to show people like, look at our feet. Hmm. We are The question we have been waiting for. Feet. So one the first first thing sort of plays into the whole i want i don't want to force everybody to believe because i wonder what that would happen to society if we did that but also another part is and i'm going to be completely honest with you i don't want my foot fetished on the yeah. internet so i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> i don't want my foot fetished on the internet like no one is we we just want you to disprove a claim that is easily it's insane. Most of us are just only asking for one thing. That's it. No, the, the foot fetish. Like, seriously, I feel like that's just an excuse to not have to do this. Like, oh, I don't feel comfortable doing this. But you feel comfortable scamming a lot of people for their money. So I'm going to I'm just completely real with you guys. I don't know. Maybe we, we've there have been some people in privacy and they can speak to it if they want to. If they want to come forward and talk about it that have seen it without shoes on um but it was a very closed you know very you know quiet you know setting where we had privacy things like that yeah. so but that's their thing to tell but i don't know if i'd want to do it for everybody because then they're going to jump to the next thing that we're faking it somehow yeah. with or like what about no one is going to jump to the next thing there's literally just one thing that's it not today since we, we are running out of time but like would you at some point in the future if we ever did another video would you be willing to do it with us or even off camera or, or just to mm. show one of us not even all of maybe us maybe off camera yeah yeah maybe <sighs> we'd have to see if the spirits would want to do it i think yeah. that this is why i had to watch this a lot like more than once because the first time i kept walking away like seriously if the spirits are okay with it they're gonna be fine if you take off your shoe to just prove the claims you know how many people would be happy to know that this is real like they're really talking to their loved ones a lot of people would love to talk to their loved ones and and know this is real you know like do you know how i could only imagine how crushing it would be if this were you know like like right now a lot of people don't believe them and they're scamming innocent people innocent people really do believe that they're talking to their loved ones and it's all a lie you're literally lying to them and it's it's not okay and then taking their money on top of it
It'd be a great way, even if it's just to like us and some people you know, so that they, we can come out even stronger. Like guys, we yeah. saw yes. it with their feet. We I know saw some, their feet. You're never gonna please them, yeah. no matter what, whether you say you did or not. Yeah. But um, would you even like take that step, even as as gross as you don't want your feet out there, like just to prove to these people? Because it is like to me the easiest way to disprove the joint thing is like well, let's just film their feet and show you it's not their joints. Yeah, maybe someday off camera okay. we'd show you. Yeah. Just because again, I just am super yeah. weird about the feet. But yeah, maybe someday off camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so that people like us can come forward and say, guys, we've seen it with their shoes off, with mm -hmm. their socks off, it's mm -hmm. not their joints. It'd be great, I think, to eventually put it to the test because we're not here to obviously prove or disprove. It's not mm -hmm. our job and it's not your job either. But yeah. I, I mm -hmm. think there are some things we could do that would be like... Silence all the haters. Silence at least crowd. the big theory. Again, with the comment about the haters, we are not hating. We don't hate them. We just think they're lying. And this whole conversation interview did not help their case. I feel like after I watched this, it only solidified the fact that they are lying and scamming people. And also, like, when we're dealing with something that's actually potentially, like, changing people's viewpoints on, like, what they've always believed that's in, dangerous. like, faith, mm -hmm. um, I feel like they deserve to at least, like, have that one thing, you know? Like, if you're going to change your whole freaking faith on it, sure. like, mm -hmm. just that one simple thing across, like, all the things that you guys could have possibly done. Like, yeah. you guys... It's up to the spirits, truthfully. And I know that sounds super corny and you have to be in the room to really believe it, but it really is up to them. So it, it's more, you know, maybe, maybe sometime in the future. I think, I think maybe off camera. Mm. Yeah, nice. I think it would help, at least for us and others out there, like, might as well try it just to show us. And, yeah. But we do have questions and reading the internet, it's like, okay, there's, skeptical people out there and but it's a know. big deal like it's people's like thoughts on the afterlife yeah. you know yeah. this is huge like you are the only people that i know that have that type of sure. ability mm -hmm. so it's like it is such a big deal mm -hmm. like to everyone's personal life too i think that's the biggest thing for me i'm like holy yeah. cow it like shifts people's way of thinking mm -hmm. no matter what just take we're not going out of our way to prove ourselves to anybody. Believe in whatever you want, whether it's in support of us or not. And uh, we'll still be doing it tomorrow. Yeah. For Satori to say so condescending, believe us, don't believe us, we're still going to be doing this tomorrow. Like it just rubbed, it rubbed me the wrong way when I heard this. And it just, it was so disappointing to hear. Like, why would you say something like that? And then, like, the smirk and, like, the laugh she gives. Like, the whole interview, it's very condescending. Like, she's laughing. She's not taking any of it seriously. And then Conto uh, <laughs> Cody is just sitting there. And then I feel like he's bored. He doesn't want to be there. I feel like he was brought here by Satori. Satori was probably the one that wanted to do the interview or the conversation or whatever. But it's just... He's sitting there, not even intrigued in the conversation. He doesn't care if people believe. They both don't care if people believe or not because they're still going to be making money off of this. Final thoughts. Um, I really respect the entire team for doing this little sit down um, conversation with them because I feel like after Sam and Col the Sam and Colby videos came out, a lot of us were upset, mad. Um, a lot of us were worried like, are did, were, did they know this was going on? Were they aware? of them being um like like a scam essentially i don't feel like they were honestly they probably weren't in on it until after they started looking into it they saw no they, they easily like google searched all that private information that they were able to find in the sessions but it's it's just so sad but i really do appreciate the team for sitting them down asking some of the harder questions and i completely understand like at the beginning it's very like they're trying to be polite respectful but then towards the end of the interview they start kind of pushing some of the hard-hitting questions a little bit more um i know a lot a lot of people probably expected them to push a little bit harder but i get it i feel like if they were to push too hard or whatever they might have not even wanted to finish the the conversation but i do feel like after watching this whole video more than once it didn't answer any of my questions if anything it just solidified the fact that i do believe they're scamming people and they're lying that's it it's so disappointing to hear and watch them continue with the lie i Part of me was hoping maybe some good would come out of this conversation, but like nothing, nothing was left. If anything, a lot of us were just left even more pissed off. It's like if you really respected the paranormal community, you wouldn't make a mockery like this and scam people for their money. It's not okay.
Okay, so this is the official statement that Satori and Cody put out. After a lot of thought and consideration, we have decided that our communication method should be studied further. We do not feel that this should be exploited and twisted within the world of YouTube, but an actual controlled study documented with credible neutral researchers and persons solely involved in finding the truth on the matter. We have been nothing but open and honest. No, you haven't. Regarding what we do and any possible theories surrounding its cause and we'll continue to do so moving forward. We will not be embarking on this journey to prove ourselves as that has never been the point of what we do, but rather to further the paranormal field as well as our understanding of what lies beyond. More is to come in the future.